Hello and welcome to Soil Sir's classes. I'm Anuja. Today I'm back with a fresh new lesson. So what are we going to discuss today, friends? Hope my previous lessons have been really informative and very useful for you. Hope you're following my video and Soil Sir's classes regularly to make your English and other necessary subjects better. Okay, so today again it's a fresh new lesson about how to improve your speaking skills and what are the basic things that you need to use in a sentence in order to enrich your sentence to make sentence sound better. Okay, so today my topic is adjectives. Something which though is not an integral part of your sentence making but still can always nourish and enrich your sentence. Because what basically is an adjective? It is a word that describes a noun in my sentence. We all know what a noun is. Noun is a naming word. For example, table, a chair, a tablecloth, window, girl, ball, or could be anybody. So if you want to add more information to that noun of yours in a sentence, then all you need to do is use an adjective. Now, adjectives, I'm going to, today, in this lesson, I'm going to tell you three things. What are the three basic things? My first thing would be, what is an adjective? Sorry about that. What is an adjective? What are the kinds and another one would be I will have to wrap up to this portion for you I will also tell you about the different errors that students make while using an adjective in their sentence so we are going to talk about the errors also while using adjectives in a sentence now, what is an integral part of a sentence? My noun or a pronoun mean the object that you're talking about, mean the subject of my sentence. There ideally needs to be an object of a sentence and also a be verb. Now, like I said at the very beginning, that adjective though not integral in sentence making, but still needs to be used at times in order to add more meaning either to your pronoun or your noun in the sentence. Okay? Now, let's start with the very basic thing. The, I'll start with a very basic um, sentence for you. We will use two nouns for them. For now, we're going to use two nouns. Dog and girl. Girl and dog. These are the two basic nouns that we're going to talk about in my first section where I'm going to give you the basic adjectives. Now, adjectives are of two types. Before we move on to the types, I'm going to give you a very simple example and then we're going to move on to the types. The two types, like I said, one is a determinant, the other one is a descriptive adjective. Now, in the first section, we're going to talk about the descriptive variety of adjectives which are better known as the more interesting variety of adjectives, the ones that we are used to using, right? one that we are habituated, that we have often used in sentences. Let's look at the first now, dog. Let's have a sentence, a quick sentence with dog. This is my pet dog. Well, look at the sentence. This is my pet dog. Here you have two sets of adjectives. One is my and pet. My is the determiner. which is an adjective of, this is the determinant of the sentence. Pet is descriptive. These are the two types. 
types that I'm going to talk about in my video today. Okay, the descriptive variety and the determiner variety. The descriptive variety is something that we are used to or we are, you know, we often use it in our sentences. Like this is a blue table cloth, this is a high chair or maybe um, she's a beautiful girl. So what kind, any word that answers my question, what kind, what color, what type, what pattern, what size is an adjective. Like this is a beautiful tablecloth. The tablecloth is blue in color. This is a round tablecloth or a rectangular tablecloth or a squarish tablecloth. All these are squarish round tablecloth, beautiful tablecloth, blue in color, all these are used to describe the noun tablecloth in my sentence. Also, you can, there are more things that you can say, like this is an old book, it's a new book, it's a black color drum, it's an old fan, which is making a lot of noise, okay, so it's a beautiful song, so any word that shares more information or that gives you more information about the noun that you used in the sentence is your adjective. You can use it to describe a pronoun also. At times we use, like if you look at this sentence out here, here we have used two sets of adjectives. One is a determiner. The other one is a normal descriptive adjective, the descriptive variety that we are familiar with. Now, what kind of a dog is it? It's a pet dog. It's not a stray dog. Stray meaning something or a dog which is out on the street and which is roaming about and does not have a master. So, it's a pet dog, meaning you have a dog at home. And it's a pet dog. What kind of a dog? It's a pet dog. You can also say it's a furry dog. Okay. Instead of the word pet, you can always use the word furry. Furry is a very common thing that you associate with any pet. Could be a cat, could be a dog, could be anything for that matter. Now if you're talking about pig, maybe you're talking about a pig that you've spotted on the street while you were walking on the street. You've spotted a pig. So if you want to talk about the pig, um, we can use words like, um, I just saw a very fat pig or maybe a large pig and which was uh, black in color. I met one on the street. Okay, So such kind of words are used with pet. And there are words like beautiful, there are words like kind, there are words like cute, sweet. Such kind of words can be used with uh, both human and pets or maybe animals for that matter. Now, if you're talking about, uh, now what exactly is a determiner? Determiner, they are a group of grammatical words or maybe grammar words. They are used as adjectives in your sentences. Like those set of books, these girls were present in the class when we were discussing the lesson last week. Uh, these um, maybe set of materials or uh, there are others also. My, okay, that's, uh, that's my book. Those books are mine. Okay, so possessives. So these can also act as adjectives in your sentence. There is a third variety also. The ed and ing variety. Okay, often you make adjectives from verbs, existing verbs. Okay, if you have gone through this example, I'll just rub it off and we can move on to our next example. This one is clear, right? This is my pet dog. Now, pet is a descriptive word that you're using for a dog. And determiner is a group of words, of grammar words, that you're using to describe, again, a pronoun or a noun. It is my book. That is your book. That itself is a determiner. That shows that... Um, that's specifically, you know, talking about one particular book. Even articles are determinants. Like it's a book, it's a 
okay an apple okay it's a drum okay so instead of using one we can use a to denote one thing in a sentence okay now we will move on to the ed and ing variety of adjective okay now these adjectives are formed from verbs existing words for example let's look at the words we will take three words there are more endless list of adjectives in english grammar you can always browse through the net if you want to or look up your grammar book to find out more okay. we will uh, look at only three words because you know time constraint due to time constraint we will look at only three words bore confuse and excite bore what would be the form of uh, if we are adding ed and eng ing to it bored and boring confusing and confused okay let's look at the third one exciting and excited let's quickly make sentences with these we can use both of them in the sentence actually the students were bored of the lecture okay or maybe we can say oh that's basically verb um, example could be it was a boring lecture okay it was a boring lecture what kind of a lecture was it it was very boring okay now we will discuss more example the examples being let's look at the second one we can also say the movie was boring the lecture was confusing okay i will quickly very randomly tell you about the three words that i put up here the movie was boring the lecture was confusing the students or the young girls were very excited why because of the exciting story what kind of a story was it exciting so you can make adjectives even from verbs what kind of verbs the regular ones so you can always use them as adjectives in your sentences it depends on how you are using a word in your sentence so interchange of parts of speech you know it's always it has always been there but the way you use it in your sentence is more important that will determine what kind of a word it is is it an adjective or a verb okay so we have discussed basically the three types with you the descriptive variety uh, articles and determiners articles are very much are pretty much part of the determiners okay so we will look at more hmm? we will look at more adjectives let's move that this up another type of adjective is the comparative and the superlative variety words that you have already read in your school okay you have right comparative adjectives now most of us back in our school we must have read or gone through two sets of charts one is a list of verbs regular and irregular verbs and a list of adjectives where the three words were the three columns that we had to study were positive comparative and superlative but positive is the basic the base form of the words and comparative is the second form and superlative is the third form of the same adjective like for example positive 
is good. Comparative is. What would be the comparative form of good? Most of us, we know about it, don't we? What is the comparative form of good? If I give you the answer, immediately you would say that, oh, I knew about it, didn't I? It's better. What is the word? Better. The third type is superlative. If I've given you the second form, definitely the third form will be known to you. If you want, you can pause the video, think, and then look at my answer. Okay? I'll give you the answer though. Best. So my three forms are good, better, and best. They are the types, the kinds of adjectives, I would say. Degree of comparison is the chapter that we had read in school. Haven't we? Most of us. Yes, we have. Now, how to use these three in your sentences? Good is very simple. She's a good girl. If I had to use better, how would I use it? She is better than most of us, or rather more, she's better than her friend. Let's keep it simple. Okay? So you're drawing a comparison between two girls or two people in your sentence. Okay? Two people, two girls of the same class. She is better than her. Okay? Or girl A is better than girl B. Let's look at the third type. This is the best among the all, among all the students that you have in the class. So this is the third form which shows that this particular thing or the person is one of a kind. Okay? And there cannot be any comparison with the best. Right? So she is the best student of the class. She is the best uh, professor of the um, entire team of professors. Okay. Among all the other professors, she is the best or he's the best. So best will never have a comparison. Better will have a comparison. If you're using the second form, the comparative form of adjective, then you should be having another person. Another girl or a man or a boy or anything else, another object with whom you will have a comparison. So the structure for comparative will be more. I just drop this part for you. Structure for comparative will be. Okay, no, not like this. Structure will be less or any, uh, I can say, you know, like any word, any comparative word plus adjective plus. Well, a than will come here. I did not this off one minute. Than plus adjective, then the word as plus an adjective. talk about the structure in details now okay so uh, I have just modified the structure for you a little bit more or less plus the adjective plus than and then your noun or pronoun now okay I'll give you an example not all the time will you use more or less if you're using more it's more beautiful or less competitive than her okay less um, there are words uh, which are regular adjectives that do not change form in their comparative uh, degree will always come with more or less. So he is more um, beautiful, she is more beautiful than her or 
he is less competitive than her his friend okay or she is less competitive than her friend okay so words where you do not see a change in form from the positive degree when the adjective changes to the negative uh, sorry the comparative part a comparative degree if you see that there's no change in the word itself then you can use more or less with it okay but with better we will never use the word more more better than her is wrong better than her or worse than her so bad worse 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 being the second form of your adjective you will not use more with worse similarly you will not use more with easier okay but beautiful or words like graceful or elegant or competitive you will use you will have to use more or less that's how it is so those words which are irregular adjectives the ones that change form in their comparative state will not have more with it okay so for example we will not use the word more with let me wrap this up we will not use the word more with easier this is wrong okay more bigger is wrong bigger and easier they anyway show a higher degree than easy and big so there is no need to add more or less to the comparative words these are the irregular words the irregular variety of adjectives that change form when in their comparative state so you will not use more or less with the comparative form if you see that the word has changed its form i hope you've understood now why because it doesn't make sense what's the point in showing that it's bigger or easier more emphasis need not be put on these words similarly in the superlative variety we do not use most okay we don't say most tallest we do not say this we simply say she is the tallest of the lot she is the smartest of them all she is the bravest of them all she is the well maybe cutest of them all but if we are using words like courageous we have to use she is more courageous than her friends she is most courageous of them all now there is nothing called more difficult or less difficult we use the word harder harder okay so we do not say the sum was more difficult to solve or less difficult we can simply say the sum was great it was harder to solve the puzzle was harder to crack okay so you need to know also the words the actual words that you want to use in your sentences the correct words that needs to be used in your sentences for that i would advise you to read more i will give you the structures here but a whole set of new words will come to you only when you become an avid reader that is very important you need to be an avid reader of books journals magazines pamphlets whatever it is so please try to read more we will discuss more tips on adjectives with you now okay i hope you have understood this that we will not use more or most with words like taller tallest braver bravest okay hope you have understood i will tell you more okay so we have more examples for you here rina owns two expensive turkish gold chains now 
how do we know which way or in which order we need to use these adjectives in the sentence? Definitely, we will start with the determinant if there's one. Okay, like a book is a very good way of uh, gaining knowledge or acquiring knowledge. So we start with A, determiner. A is a determiner. Okay, similarly, let's look at this one here. Rena owns, what does she own? How many will come first? Number will come first. Two, your opinion about the particular thing, expensive, less expensive, more expensive, beautiful, cute, good, or anything. Old, hmm. old will come later to you. This is the, um, your opinion about a particular thing will follow the number. Then what type, the origin, could be Turkish, could be Indian, could be French, could be Italian, could be anything of what origin it is. Gold is the metal, the thing, the, what can I say, the material that you've used to forge the chain or make the chain. So uh, this will come next. Okay. Then, so this is the basic structure. It'll start with the number, then the type, your own response or your own opinion, then the origin and the place of origin, I mean, the metal that is used and chains. Okay, you can also say, um, this sentence can be used in a different way. Like, um, there was a very, there was a blue colored dishwasher or a metal cleaner on the shelf. So this is how it should be the order in which adjectives can be used in your sentence. Let's look at the next sentence here. Yesterday I met a well-dressed young Indian man on the street. So you've met an Indian man on the street. So again, your opinion, well, see the determiner comes here. Oh, well-dressed is your opinion. The age of the individual, young, Indian, the origin, man on the street. So that's the basic structure of how to use an adjective. An adjective in your sentence or how to use more adjectives in your sentence. Here, these two sentences, we have used more than one adjective. So you need to know the order well. Okay, otherwise it will be very difficult for you to use this and it will not sound correct. For example, if you just change the order of these sentences. Rina owns some Turkish gold to expensive chains. Will it make sense? It will not. So you need to keep this order intact. Yesterday I met a well-dressed young Indian man on the street. This is the structure. A book is the only source of acquiring knowledge. Okay. Acquiring here is an adjective. Describing what? The abstract noun, knowledge. A book. What kind of a book? A. So if you're using more than one adjective in your sentence, you should know the order correct. You should know how to use it well. Otherwise, it will sound incorrect to your listener. So if you have more questions from your end, please do write in the comment section. We are here to help you. We are here to answer your questions, your queries. Now just one a last sentence type before I say goodbye to you. Um, well, there are more sentences like simply by looking at an individual you can describe. She is a fair young lady. Um, I am a dusky individual. Okay. And who's got more number of words maybe. Okay. So how many awards? More number of awards. So everything is an adjective. Like I said, the way you use a word in your sentence will determine its role to play in the sentence. Okay. So be very careful when you're talking, when you're speaking out a sentence. And please, if you have more questions, more related questions, write in the comment section below. We are here to answer and help you. Bye-bye. See you.